watching the headlines with me and the Pavli Hazra. In a short video clip circulated across social media platforms, boys are heard chanting "Shoot the traitors of the nation" at Rajiv Chowk, which is a busy Delhi metro station. This slogan was earlier raised by BJP leaders, including Kapil Mishra and Anurag Thakur, against anti-CAA protesters. The boys have been taken into custody. Authorities have decided to keep Northeast Delhi schools shut till the 7th of March. The situation, they say, is not conducive to conduct examinations in the violence-affected areas. Congress leader Anand Sharma said of the situation in Delhi that it was far from normal and that an environment of fear prevailed. Sharma also claimed that a one-sided investigation is taking place into the riots. He said the party has no expectations from the centre or the Delhi Chief Minister, but has hopes from the court. A teacher at Silchar's Gurcharan College was arrested on Friday night for posting objectionable material on Facebook, according to the police. Earlier in the day, students registered an FIR against their teacher, Sauradeep Sengupta, for making derogatory remarks and abusing the Sanatan Dharm and the Prime Minister. JNU Vice Chancellor Jagdesh Kumar, on reports that JNU Students Union gave open call to those affected in Northeast Delhi violence to take shelter in the campus, said he has advised students not to give such open calls. Instead, he said they can collect essential items from the campus and provide humanitarian aid to the people. One of the convicts of the 2012 Delhi gang rape case, Akshay, has moved a mercy petition claiming that his earlier petition that was dismissed did not have all the facts. Meanwhile, the Supreme Court will hear on Monday the curative petition filed by Pavan Kumar Gupta, one of the convicts who sought to commute his death sentence to life imprisonment. Union Minister Ravi Shankar Prasad tore into whom he addressed as liberal leftist friends and asked them not to teach his party secularism and human rights. He asked what their governments had done for victims of extremist violence. He also took a dig at those who say they will not show citizenship papers, asking why they in turn want proof that Lord Ram was born in Ayodhya when it is a historically known fact. According to an Indian Express report, a video apparently shot on Monday evening in Delhi's Kardampuri area shows a 24-year-old injured man lying on the ground while men in police gear and others ask him and others with him to sing the national anthem and Vande Matram. The injured man succumbed to gunshot wounds at a hospital later. The government on Friday sent Foreign Secretary Harshwardhan Shringla to Kabul where he conveyed India's support to the government and the people of Afghanistan in their efforts to bring peace and stability in the country. The Foreign Secretary's dash to Afghanistan comes as the US and Taliban get ready to ink a historic peace pact. The visit was aimed at reviewing ties and testing how empowered the Afghanistan government is for the rise of the Taliban once again. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.